What's up legends? Helldivers 2 just released today the new war bond titled The Democratic Detonation which included three different weapons with a few explosive options as well as of course the very sought after thermite grenade. So today we figured we'd test out the thermite grenade against all enemies currently in Helldivers 2 so we could figure out where this thermite grenade will truly shine and where it lacks in power. Before we get to all of these enemy types, there are a few things I must mention about the Thermite Grenade that cannot go unmentioned. The Thermite Stick is extremely inconsistent. Oftentimes, it will bounce off of a target and not stick, and therefore not cause any damage. Also, a lot of the times, you throw a Thermite at a certain part of the enemy, let's say you aim at the Charger's leg, and it may bounce off onto, let's say, the Charger's face. So trying to aim the Thermite is very inaccurate. And from all of my testing, the Thermite will consistently land elsewhere different from where you intended it to. So it's not reliable at all, and many of the experiments in this video, the Thermite would land in different parts of the unit's bodies. Also, the Thermite, after sticking to the enemy, will melt the target by doing some dot damage first, and then it blows up with a very small explosion. This explosion is indeed so small that it makes it an extremely unreliable grenade with dealing with multiple targets, so much so that unless the enemies were tiny scavengers, the thermite would absolutely never get multiple kills with its explosion. And lastly, I must mention the thermite grenade should be treated as a supplement to your arsenal rather than entirely relying on it. For example, with a well-placed thermite grenade to the biome's face, made it so that I could take down a Bile Titan with only one EAT shot and one Thermite Grenade, rather than having to spend two expendable anti-tank shots. However, for this experiment, we will be testing only strictly how many Thermite Grenades it takes per kill. So without any further ado, let's start with the Terminid Faction and then cover the Automaton Faction afterwards, and at the end of the video, give my verdict. First off for the Terminid, let's start from the smaller guys working on our way up. The Termite will kill a Hive Guard with one use. Regardless of whether you hit it in its body or its front shield, the Termite will indeed kill the Hive Guard on the first go. So it's pretty decent at dealing with these, as most of the other grenade types will oftentimes not one hit these units. However, of course, keep in mind that the Termite does not do much AoE damage, whereas the other ones do. Anything smaller than a Hive Guard, the Warriors, Small Spewers, Hunters, or Scavengers, for example, will of course get one hit by these. Moving up to the slightly larger Brute Commanders, the Brute Commanders will require two different sets of Thermite Grenades, which to me, it's kind of mind-blowing. You'd expect to be able to stick one Thermite Grenade to the Brute Commander's face and be able to blow it up, right? Well, it doesn't. Even if you hit it dead in its head, it will still take two full thermites to be able to bring these medium-sized units down. Even slightly larger comes the armored Bile Spewers. The Bile Spewers, much like the Brute Commanders, take two thermites to fully bring it down, regardless of whether you hit it near its face or down its bubble gut. This is far worse than the Impact Grenade, which gets rid of a Bile Spewer not only with one grenade, but it can actually get rid of multiple Bile Spewers at that. Moving again in size, we've got the Chargers. This is pretty much the one everyone's going to be interested in for the Terminate Faction. But sadly, the Chargers results were rather inconsistent. You see, as I mentioned earlier, the Thermite oftentimes doesn't necessarily stick exactly where you threw it, so it was difficult to run this experiment landing all Thermites on the same part of the body. But here's what I found. The Chargers in my experiments range from three Thermites to six thermites. Now, the likely reason for that is in case you didn't know, chargers and bile titans have different health pools for different limbs, as well as the head and the butt. I ran this solid experiment you're seeing there in the background where I landed three thermite grenades in the charger's backside in the same exact spot. And these three thermite grenades did enough damage to leave the charger's health so low that it bled out a few seconds later. The other extreme in this experiment was on a charger where I landed multiple thermites in multiple different parts of its body only killing it after the sixth thermite ran its course. Seeing as how the second experiment is the most likely scenario to happen in a real game, where we won't be able to perfectly line up all of our thermites and land them exactly where we want them, you can expect to be throwing something like four to six thermites to kill a charger in a real game. Those results are pretty awful. Four to six thermites for an armor penetrating type grenade is pretty terrible. I can't see a world where it'll be a good idea to take down chargers with thermites, 
rather than just using a proper armor dealing support weapon that can get rid of them with just one shot. Now moving over to the Bile Titan, once I saw that it took me 4 to 6 Thermites to kill the Chargers, I expected the Bile Titans to take upwards of about 12 or so Thermites to kill, but to my surprise I managed to take down two different Bile Titans with the same exact amount of 7 Thermite Grenades, regardless of whether it hit near their face area or even their legs. 7 was the key number to take down both of these Bile Titan threats, which honestly isn't as bad as requiring 6 per charger in my opinion, a full team should be able to dump a few of these Thermites easily on a Bile Titan. Once again, one well placed Thermite and an expendable anti-tank shot to the face should do the trick though. And lastly for the Terminid, let's take a look at a couple of other interesting uses we found. First, it can obviously open container doors, not with the burn, but with its final explosion. The same applies to bug holes, you can get rid of them with either a well placed thermite inside the hole, or even one slightly outside, and it will get rid of them once that explosion comes through. Also, yes, it does work on illegal broadcasts. And lastly, the experiment was very inconsistent as the thermites kept bouncing off and sometimes I wasn't sure if I was doing damage to the shrieker's nest or not, but you can get rid of the shrieker's nest with roughly about 10 different thermite grenades. Or in other words, don't even try it. Moving over to the clankers, the automaton faction, let's see what we got in store. Any small bot is of course a one shot with these thermite grenades, but let's take a look at the striders. The striders will take only one thermite grenade to kill, this does not matter whether you hit its leg or its front plate, anywhere on the strider should do the trick just fine. However, the impact grenade will still be the best choice here as you can take on multiple striders with just one grenade. Moving over to the berserkers, these guys are usually pretty tough against anything, so how do they fare against the thermites? Well, the berserkers do take 2 to 3 thermites, or just 1 thermite followed by 1 or 2 shots will do just fine. This will be a horrible choice as oftentimes when there are berserkers, there will be at least two or three of them, and upwards of like six of them. So thermites are not going to be your friend here, impact grenade is once again better. Now what about those pesky devastators? I'd like to say I was quite surprised at these following results. The regular devastator took me three thermite grenades to take down, yep, three. So you might be thinking, god if it takes me three for the shitty devastator, imagine the shielded one. Well, and that's where the surprise comes in. The shoot the devastators or the heavy devastators take only one thermite grenade, just one. Regardless of whether you hit the shield or if you hit their body, they will die to just one measly thermite grenade. The thing about these devastators is even though they're heavily protected by their shields, their health is actually very low. And yes, Impact grenades do also one hit these units when they land directly on their shield. The rocket devastator however is back up to the 3 thermite grenades or 2 grenades and if you basically spit on them they'll die pretty easily. Even just 1 thermite grenade will weaken their health enough for you to kill them with just a few shots. Now moving up to those extremely dangerous hulks, the thermite will, just like most other heavy armor penetrating weapon, take 3 full thermite grenades to the front of their body. Or if you manage to land one of the thermites on their back or their heat sink, they will die to only 2 thermite grenades. But it's pretty effective at that. Onto the big annihilator tank, the thermite was finally able to truly shine against this unit. 3 thermite grenades will get rid of an annihilator tank. Now why do I say it shines if it still takes 3 grenades? The thing is, you can literally land on the side of its body and it will get rid of that tank just fine. You don't need to worry about hitting their turrets or their heat sink, just chuck 3 thermites at it and you're good to go. Now if you land the thermites on the turret, it will still take the same 3 thermites to kill, but if one of those thermites is a heat sink thermite, you will get rid of these tanks in only 2 grenades just like the Hulk. One thing I found interesting is that previously I used to think the turret towers had the same health as the tanks, however I came to find that these turrets will die to just one thermite to the heatsink, so that was pretty cool. As for the turrets on top of the command bunkers, they will get destroyed with just one thermite, and as for the other turrets, the AA turret as well as the mortars, these were taking about 3 to 4 each to be destroyed. Or in other words, just use the auto cannon on these and take them out instantly, instead of having to get in range of them to waste your entire grenade slot per turret. And lastly, for the automatons, you can get rid of factories either by chucking it right at its front door or if you land it low enough on the vent so that the explosion radius can get rid of it 
it will do that just fine. So that's all of the units we came across in today's experiment. Sadly, we did not go up against the nursing spewer, which probably would be killed with just one to two thermites, nor did we come across the shredder tank. The shredders will go down to only two impact grenades to deter it, so it's safe to assume it's probably going to take the same amount of thermites to kill. So the verdict, what do I think about this grenade? Honestly guys, I think it's pretty terrible. Like, really bad. It doesn't really do what it's supposed to do at all. I'll be blunt with you guys, everything this grenade can do, the impact grenade will do far better. Sometimes, both of these nade types will take the same amount of hits to kill something, however, when you take into account that the impact grenade's damage not only has a large AoE, but it also has an immediate damage rather than a damage over time over the course of a few seconds, then the impact grenade just takes the cake by a mile. There's only a couple of things this nade can do that other nades can't. One is damaging the bio titan, being able to actually kill them with 7 uses. The other is the annihilator tank and pretty much the tower turret, which I will admit is a fantastic only 3 nades to kill, which is very powerful at that. But that's it. That's pretty much the 2 things this grenade can do. Meanwhile, the impact grenade will do like 50 things better than the thermite. I expected a properly powerful armor penetrating grenade, but sadly, this ain't it, chief. No disrespect to the game design at all, I just don't think it came out how it was supposed to. The fact that it still takes 3 to 6 thermites to kill a charger is pretty bad in my opinion. I definitely expect it to receive a buff in the future, but we'll see. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you Helldivers on the next one. Peace!